Welcome to Review Detective guys. In today's video, I'll be reviewing the Comica Boom XD1 wireless microphone. I'll compare it to other alternatives like the Rode Wireless Go, as well as the Zoom H1N, which I use for most of my videos. Additionally, as you saw from the title, Comica sent over an extra pair, which I'll be giving away to one lucky subscriber. So make sure to watch until the end to know how to participate and to see who won last week's giveaway prize, the Boya wireless earbuds. Now to start things off, when opening the box, you have the receiver and transmitter on top, which as you can see are both quite compact in size, similar in fact to the Rode Wireless Go, just slightly taller. As for the accessories included with the microphone, this is where Kamika really shines. They've included three audio cables, depending on which device you want to record with, such as a smartphone or conventional cameras from brands like Sony, Canon, or Nikon. They've also included a great lavalier microphone, which when plugged in has a security clip that prevents it from accidentally disconnecting from the transmitter. Additionally, there's a sturdy metal clip to easily attach a lavalier microphone to your clothes. And if you're recording outdoors, there's a wind muff included as well. Now, just like on the Rode microphone, you can choose to record audio either with the lavalier microphone or straight from the transmitter's integrated microphone, which in this case comes with its own wind muff as well. Furthermore, both the Comica transmitter and receiver have a display screen, which lets you monitor battery percentage, audio levels, signal strength, and more. Moving on, when it comes to build quality, both the Boom XD1 and Rode Wireless Go are made of plastic, but both feel solid and well put together, with the Wireless Go being slightly heavier and having a more premium feel. On the upside, on the Comica microphone, you can choose to record in either mono or stereo mode, and it gives you way more control on output volume, ranging from 0 to plus 12 dB, compared to only 3 levels on the Rode Wireless Go. Furthermore, on Comicast Transmitter, you can manually mute the recording, and on the receiver side, there are two channels available, each having its own output volume adjustment button, which again gives you more control when recording. Another nice feature of the Boom XD1 is being able to charge with USB-C, and when recording, it has a range of about 50 meters and a latency of less than 20 milliseconds, as you'll see in our audio tests. Now, when it comes to audio quality, I'll let you decide which one sounds best. In fact, I'll read the same text with audio coming straight from the camera, then from the Boom XD1's integrated microphone, as well as the included lavalier, followed by the Rode Wireless Go and the Zoom H1N. Once the storm is over, you won't remember how you made it through, how you managed to survive, you won't even be sure in fact whether the storm is really over. And once the storm is over, you won't remember how you made it through, how you managed to survive, you won't even be sure in fact whether the storm is really over. And once the storm is over, you won't remember how you made it through, how you managed to survive, you won't even be sure in fact whether the storm is really over. And once the storm is over, you won't remember how you made it through, how you managed to survive, you won't even be sure in fact whether the storm is really over. And once the storm is over, you won't remember how you made it through, how you managed to survive, you won't even be sure in fact whether the storm is really over. And once the storm is over, you won't remember how you made it through, how you managed to survive, you won't even be sure in fact whether the storm is really over. So with that, hopefully you get an idea of what the Comica Boom XD1s are capable of and what kind of results to expect when recording in a rather echoey room. Now when it comes to outdoor recordings, here's what you can expect. And once the storm is over, you won't remember how you made it through, how you managed to survive, you won't even be sure in fact whether the storm is really over. And once the storm is over, you won't remember how you made it through, how you managed to survive, you won't even be sure in fact whether the storm is really over. And once the storm is over, you won't remember how you made it through, how you managed to survive, you won't even be sure in fact whether the storm is really over. And once the storm is over, you won't remember how you made it through, how you managed to survive, you won't even be sure in fact whether the storm is really over. So there you have it guys, if you like the recording quality and would like to participate in the Boom XD1's giveaway, all you have to do is like this video, leave a comment and obviously be subscribed to the channel. The winner will be announced in our next video, so make sure the bell notification is on. Now with that out of the way, let's see who are the two winners of last week's Boya True Wireless Earbuds giveaway. Alright, so congratulations to Maria Castillo and Alten K. Torres. You'll both get a pair of Boya earbuds. All you have to do is get in touch with us at our email address and we'll ship them right over. Now, as always, thank you for watching and Review Detective out.